I make a million bucks every six months and y'all hating my game, saying my name, they call me the e wrong Yo, what's up? It's Eric Sermon. Yo, this is Barry Smith, the Mike Doc of the legendary rapper BPMD. Yeah, me and Pete coming from Long Island watching Run DMC is like what rep made me and Paris really, really get into it. And after me and Paris, when Paris you know, came home from college playing football, Paris wanted to make a demo. Yo, and then from there we went in the studio, we hit Charlie Murata. Yo, we put this my thing, your customer together. He came up with the infamous voice, Nick Mac, Patty Wack, give the dog a ball. Then there, you got some chill. And then EPMD's whole point was never to let hip hop down. Exactly. Stay true to right. our art. And, you know, to just be happy to be in that position to be part of the hip hop culture. And even in the years to come, 1992, while it was getting ready to make a change, me and Pat was the only one to make a record called The Crossover to let people know that we can't go that way because this is what hip hop sounds like. So I just think that EPMD is important from that level and also a level of bringing in the hit squad, which Das Effects changed music. Solo, Red Man changed music. So we was important coming from Long Island because yes. everybody was coming from the city to begin with. But you know, us rock him. Public Enemy, a lot, Long Island got a lot to say. A lot of cats. And then, yeah. on top of that, EPMD is the most sample hip hop dudes. And hip -hop exactly. So, so, us being, music -wise. that's huge. Yeah. So, for us being the game, it gave a lot of people um, a, a, a platform to sample on to get their demos done, like Biggie and everybody. You can get, go down the line about EPMD samples. And even just two weeks ago, Puffy and, and um, Puffy and Rick Ross did it again. Yes. Then the Hip Hop Awards, the yeah. freestyle was on your customer. So EPMD was was big yeah. for hip hop. And uh, I'm not saying that we was like, you know, that all be all, but we was important to be here. Just like the importance of the Hip Hop Hall of Fame coming. Yeah, yeah. And I saw that everybody is is um, also making sure that LL Cool J get nominated, yeah. and that we all get behind them. Yeah. Um, Universal Hip Hop Museum is in the Bronx. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. Like I said before, it's dope, because the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I'm taking nothing from that, but the Hip Hop Hall of Fame makes mad sense. We are number one genre over pop, over yep. rock. Yep. Um, over there's jazz. no question. We transcended music from around the world. We're the only genre to do that. And for us to have this Universal Hip Hop Museum just makes sense. Yep. And so, the only big thing about hip hop is that one thing we would like to see in the near future is if they can start getting different categories. Yeah, right. Like you got soft rock, hard rock, soft jazz, hard jazz. Everything's under one umbrella in hip hop. Right. And if we can get that we going, got then we got it going, all right? Okay, so, but like I said before, and then when you, when you for the hip hop, Universal Hip Hop Museum, you got to donate now to spot.fund hip hop. Spot.fund hip, hip hop for the donation for the. Universal Hip Hop Museum, yeah. so so we make sure that it happens. Spot Fun Dash Hip Hop, okay, okay. very very important. Spot so, yeah, Fun, yes. Yeah, spot S P O T dot Fund yep. slash Hip Hop, right. very important. All day. Universal Hip Hop Museum. Yo, EPMD, wow. we out of here. Yo, Hip Hop, thanks for the opportunity and allow. Yeah, EPMD we love to you. Be part of the culture. Twenty nine years, baby. Right.